Thousands of people will hit the streets in Indianapolis yep. this week as the NRA convention kicks off. Some will be armed, some will be protesting. And then you throw in a visit from the president and the vice president at the same time, and you could have a security nightmare. Yep. News H Richard Essex spoke to police today about what they're doing to ensure everyone's safety, Richard. Well, two groups have applied for and been granted a permit to protest this weekend. They're planning to march from the state capitol down to Lucas Oil Stadium on Friday. IMPD will be there to keep an eye on the event, and taxpayers will be picking up the tab. In 2014, when the NRA was in town, protests around the event, like the Moms Against Guns rally, were limited in size and were, for the most part, quiet. In 2014, Governor Mike Pence spoke at the leadership conference. This year, Vice President Pence and President Donald Trump are expected to address the convention on Friday. IMPD Homeland Security Commander Tom Sellis says the department response will be noticeable. There's definitely more resources uh, when you have a visit uh, compared to just if we were just, you know, securing the convention uh, on that. Uh, so they're, you know, we're going to have personnel that are going to be on the motorcade route. We're going to have personnel stationed at corners and things like that. Commander Sellis told News 8 the department has very little to do with the security of the president and the vice president, aside from securing the route from the airport to the convention center. IMPD will be asked to keep an eye on protesters outside of the convention. So we have one group that has permitted to protest at the state house to include a march down towards Lucas Oil. Possibility on Saturday, um, you know, they don't have to do what they tell us they're going to do, so they might or might not. IMPD says they are treating the NRA just like any other convention. Now, you may 